Calling all anime fans out there, it's time for our new anime top 10, featuring potentially great online games, either MMORPGs or online RPGs with smaller player counts. There is something for everyone. Let's begin. Blue Protocol. We'll start with one of the latest exciting announcements. Blue Protocol is an online anime RPG by Bandai Namco, and it looks breathtaking. Powered by the reliable Unreal Engine 4, Blue Protocol follows a group of heroes and a world in the brink of extinction, aren't they all? It feels like the best of Zelda and Dragon Quest were mixed together. Currently targeted for Japan, Blue Protocol is highly likely to launch in the rest of the world. It's a PC exclusive, and the business model is yet undisclosed. But Bandai Namco is no stranger to free-to-play, as Bless Unleashed shows, so there is hope. Project Barbecue – Dungeon Fighter Online 2 Project Barbecue will finally take the Dungeon Fighter Online to the next level. The original game remains as one of the most profitable in the world, mostly thanks to China. But Neopole needs to keep up with the times. No more side-scrolling as well. It's all in glorious third-person perspective and full 3D. While combat will be the focus, you can roam the land, entering villages and running to the next dungeon. Don't expect it to be a full-fledged MMORPG and you won't be disappointed. You can, however, expect a great action game with several ties to the original. Genshin Impact Genshin Impact is the new game from the creators of Honkai Impact 3rd. Gone are the sci-fi trappings, replaced by an anime fantasy look that isn't entirely original, but it surely is breathtaking. Almost Breath of the Wild breathtaking, to be honest. During your adventure, you get to unlock more characters. You can freely switch between them to use each one's unique abilities. But Genshin Impact's greatest asset is its beautiful world that you can freely explore by running, climbing, and swimming. Genshin Impact isn't an MMORPG, though. It's a game that you can play solo or invite a few friends into your game world for some multiplayer dungeon romping. Fantasy Star Online 2 It took its sweet time, but I'm happy to see Fantasy Star Online 2 coming to North America and eventually Europe sometime later. Sega and Microsoft teamed up for a PC and Xbox One 2020 release of a game that was originally launched in 2012. The craziest thing is that Fantasy Star Online 2 remains as one of the best examples of action combat in an MMORPG. Better late than never, right? World of Dragon Nest World of Dragon Nest is a mobile game, despite being initially announced as a PC and mobile cross-platform game. Apparently, the PC version was put on the back burner to focus on the mobile release, so there's Strike One. But there's still hope. World of Dragon Nest features an open world and a dual weapon system, with no classes to hold you back. You are what you wear. PvP will play a big part as well, as it was expected. World of Dragon Nest may not be the follow-up that the original deserves, but hopefully it will turn out to be better than we hope for. Peria Chronicles From highly anticipated anime MMORPG to a game that we just want to see released, Peria Chronicles suffered from unrestrained ambition and had to be scaled down. It's a mystery if the sandbox elements and other features will make it into the game. Nonetheless, Peria Chronicles looks like a very decent anime MMORPG. Hopefully, combat will be polished enough to make Peria Chronicles Pokemon-style creature collecting interesting. Nike, the goddess of victory. We added this one just for a bit of fun and because the anime artwork is bound to be exciting. From the makers of Destiny Child, Nike, the goddess of victory, should feature the same style of artwork with beautiful designs that add an additional layer of depth to the gameplay. Oh, who am I kidding? These girl soldiers are designed to look pretty and be the main selling point. Nike, the goddess of victory, is a third-person cover shooter for mobile devices and could be considered as a better-looking girl's frontline. You probably know what that means. 
Fairy Tale Magic Guide. Fairy Tale Magic Guide isn't groundbreaking or terribly clever, and it's exclusively for mobile devices. However, it looks beyond decent if you like the stylized art style. The isometric environments feature some stunning artwork, and combat is filled with over-the-top special effects, but apparently you can't do much besides choosing your heroes and formation. A Western release seems highly unlikely, though. Waven I'm pretty sure that most of you haven't heard about Waven before. This is the new game by the creators of Dofus and Wakfu, a couple of acclaimed but rather obscure French MMORPGs, and is set in the same universe. Waven features the beautiful anime style that the studio is known for. Players will develop their humble starting area and head out for adventure. There are many heroes and companions with unique skills to master in turn-based arena combat. Unlike the previous games, Waven comes with full 3D environments, although the characters remain in 2D. Kurtzpel Kurtzpel is already available in early access, but it is far from an official launch. After a shaky start, the devs listen to the players and fix their mistakes. Now fairer and more balanced, Kurtzpel is regularly getting content updates, adding new arenas, karmas, game modes, and PvE bosses. Kurtzpel is shaping up to be a great anime brawler, and while I understand that some players can't look beyond the fact that there isn't a proper PvE campaign, that's just how it is. Who knows if a full-fledged adventure mode won't make an appearance later. Other promising online anime games are coming, such as Uncharted Waters Origin or Mabinogi Mobile. Let us know your suggestions in the comments and have fun!